what do you got to tell your fans out here, man? Is there anything you want to get off your chest to let the people know anything? Man, definitely go see the movie Neighborhood Dope, man. Download the CD Neighborhood Dope, man. Tuba TV. Tuba TV, everywhere you can look at it at, but on. it's finna be a lot of finna hit you. And it just ain't just neighborhood dope, man. It's love movies, yeah. junkie movies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I might play a movie. I'm on the fin now. You know, anything might go on. But it's what is a your lot thoughts about that fin now creeping man. up in this thing, man? Because there's a lot of folks that's been getting out of here off of the fin by his damn self, man. Man, bro, I, I know like I know like down to 19 people that didn't left in the last 10 months that I know. Man, that shit does. And then you, you got to think about it, bro. These these press pills that these, these, these niggas, they pressing up. If you got a nigga, just say, for instance, I'm, I'm your doctor. Yeah. All right. You come and see uh, this lady here, she a doctor or whatever, but I'm the one finna press her sit up. And you come in the room and you see me. So will you be comfortable me making your pill? Hell no. Nah. All right, then. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just like these people that taking shit, you don't even know what the fuck it is, dog. These niggas ain't no chemists. Yeah. I don't even take pills, period. Yep. I don't even drink that shit, bro. Exactly. I don't do nothing. I used to be a junkie on codeine. Like, I used to be strong on that shit. Yeah. But when I went to jail, that shit saved me. You know what I'm saying? Period. It's like when I went to jail, I was mad I was in jail, but I was actually happy because I'm yep. just like, I was going through withdrawals. My end up losing like 60 pounds. I couldn't eat. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I was gone on this shit. What was that like when you realized that you had an addiction? Did you not realize it until you went to jail? Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. To me, I didn't have no addiction because yeah. anytime somebody says something about it, you know, I got mad. Uh, but you know, the first step to addiction is admitting it. Yeah. You know, to my, I used to just, I, I, I used to can drink four, four to six ounces a drink every day. <laughs> I can look at you and talk to you and not hear shit you saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, man, that man really focused. I'm just like the hell. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All this shit you saying though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It shit used to actually give me tunnel vision, man. Yeah. Because when you got so many people, different people pulling on you, people expect you to do this. You know, I'm a father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a lot of shit come with being. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit come with being somebody like me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Period. And if you got so many people depending on you, they expect so much of you. Sometimes you gotta be like, man. Yeah. You know what? Man, you know, let me let me let me drink something to drink, bro. Fuck this shit. Yeah. And you just get, I used to get ton of vision and I'm drinking two ounces to four ounces to six and man, when I started drinking like eight, I knew it was a problem. And then when I went to jail, like my ankles and shit was swelling up. I had got so fucking big, I was like 370 pounds. I ain't never been that big in my life. Yeah. Yeah. But when I went to jail, I started throwing up nothing. Okay, what was it like when your body started cutting up from the withdrawals when you was locked down and you was getting clean? Cause I didn't, I didn't understand. Like when when I when I first went to jail, when I was thrown up, I couldn't eat. Yeah. And when I was throwing up some shit like water, like my body, like that's yeah. the worst kind of feeling when you throwing up nothing. Ain't nothing you know, coming body, up. It ain't nothing coming body up. Body just squeezing like and a that shit was hurting. So they you know sent they sent me to medical. Yeah. And I, and I'm talking to the nurse. And the nurse said, "Uh, baby, let me ask you a question." I'm like, "What's up?" She said, uh, you want hair run? So I I got like upset. I'm like, man, hell no. Bitch, I ain't no motherfucking hair run. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Period. And one of the guards down there knew who I was. He said, yeah. come on, Kieran, man. No, you be drinking that drink. Yeah. I said, hell yeah, I drink that drink. But I drink yellow sometimes, but I was sprung on the purple. Yeah. Man, that lady said, man, that shit got hair run in it. You know, me not knowing, I had been drinking that shit. Man, I mean, how many years we drinking this shit, bro? Uh, man, we drank so much of that shit. Like, I promise you, I think we got we the ones got Memphis on drinking drink. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Period. We used to drink so much of that shit like shh. Well, the withdrawal was so bad that when you got off, you said I ain't never doing this shit again. Or what was that? How, how, how did you kick it all the way? Man, I'm telling you, when I went to jail. When yeah. I was in jail, man, I got out, man, I was, I was just focused. Like I said, all this shit over, bro. Cause I didn't I didn't actually know that heroin was in it. Yeah. Then you gotta think about it. If you smoke crack, yeah, I call you a junkie, but I drink drink. I'm a junkie too. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like what? We the same junkie. You a junk? I'm a junkie. We yeah. all junkies. Everybody got addiction. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I just had to get away from this shit. What was you at as far as motion when you got locked down, and how did that impact what you had going on in the streets during that time? Man, being locked up, this shit ain't for nobody, bro. This yeah. shit ain't for no man, bro. Any nigga who like to be in jail, man, you retarded, bro. Yeah. Man, the first day I was in jail, I was thinking ways to break out this motherfucker. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I would think crazy. I want to jump out the window. Give me up at this bitch. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But that that, that shit ain't for no nigga. You, come on, man. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing like waking up and even goddamn it, just looking out the window. Goddamn it, going getting you something to eat. It's, yeah, just, yeah. it's the small shit. It make you appreciate this shit. You know what I'm saying? Period. Yeah. How long were you in there for? Seven months. I ain't do no motherfucking time. Yeah. I ain't no jailhouse nigga. Come on now. <laughs> After them seven. Was it, did a different criminal man leave up out of that thing after them seven? Man, when I was coming about that motherfucker, the goddamn the guard said, uh, the guard said, uh, go and bust a rap criminal man. I said, man, I can't rap. I, I can't. I couldn't even think about this shit. Yeah. And he was kind of he had kind of got an attitude like, oh, your ass would be back. <laughs> man, I looked at that man like, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. And I ain't been back in that motherfucker no more. My I moved God. totally different. Exactly. What? So what did that do to your mind while you was in there for them seven months? How long did it take you to get over the withdrawals? And then what was your plots to do after you got out of that thing, man? I just got focused. I started going to the gym. Yeah. I just had to do something to occupy my mind to keep me from even wanting this shit. Yeah. And then if you can go 21 days without something, you can go You can go without this shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? My brother used to always tell me, man, just see if you can go a week without it. Yeah. You go a week. Go another week. You go another week. You go twenty one days without something. That's with anything. Yeah. You don't need that shit. Okay. Or you can do without, not need it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you can do without you. it.